Hello, I'm Andrew Collier. Welcome to International Gas Detectors. Today, I want to present to you our TOC625 micro gas detection system. For small applications, you no longer have to compromise on quality. TOC625 offers hassle-free installation. Pre-calibrated and with auto-discover and setup features, this system is fast to deploy and simple to operate, making it ideal for small installations with up to eight detectors. So please, watch the presentation and step into the future with international gas detectors. So here it is, 65 Micro. This is what we're talking about today. This is what I want to present to you. Um, so this is our new micro system controller. Uh, it comes in two formats. This is the standard version. Uh, 24 volt DC powered. So you can run this from your own 24 volt supply. You can run it from a battery backup system that you've already got. Maybe you've got a site UPS. Maybe you've got something already built into the systems that you're uh, connecting this to. Or we can supply you with a mains power supply, bulkhead mounted power supply to go with it. Uh, it comes with uh, standard 20 millimeter knockouts. You've got six of those on the unit and we supply you with cable glands to go with that. Uh, now what you've got on there is a color change display. So in standard mode, this will be green as we're indicating here, and you'll see the channel number, you'll see uh, which gas it is, CO2 in this example. Uh, you'll see the reading on the bottom line of the display. So here we've got 475 ppm displayed for this particular CO2 detector. And in normal operation, the controller will cycle around that. So you'll see channel one, channel two, channel three, however many channels you've got connected will be displayed sequentially on the controller one by one. Should you get an alarm, then the display will start flashing red, and we'll show you that a little bit later in this presentation. Should you get a fault, then similarly, the display will start flashing uh, yellow to indicate that you've got a fault with the display. Built-in sounder, 85 dBs, and you've got two changeover relays for alarm level one and alarm level two. Now, what makes the controller really quite special is that the other version that we uh, supply this unit in is the plug and socket version. So here, uh, instead of having the conduit entries, now you've got some M16 plugs and sockets and pre-made cables that mean that you really can plug and play to plug and socket the, the system together. So it comes with all the same features that the standard version does, but now you've got these uh, industrial plugs and sockets uh, so that you really can deploy a system really, really quickly. So if you're a, a maintenance department or something, you've got to provide gas detection into a school craft room or it's a small laboratory area. Uh, they want something installed really quickly. Uh, they don't want to have to go to the whole uh, rigmarole of chasing walls out, uh, installing conduit, uh, getting people in to commission it, all that kind of stuff. Here, because on all of our addressable systems, the gas detectors are pre-calibrated and because all the data is stored at the gas detector end of it, it makes possible that we can do this, these plug and play systems. So as we say, the cables that we supply are pre-made. Uh, they come in one meter, three meter, and 10 meter lengths, and you can plug those together to make up longer lengths uh, if you require that. So when you're installing a system, obviously you're gonna put your uh, controller on the wall, you're gonna install either your pre-made cables or your conduit runs or cable runs to the detectors, putting loops where you're gonna install those. Uh, up to eight detectors on this system, and they can be any variety. Uh, so here we've got a CO, a CO2, and a flam. But any of that are on the table for 625, you can install and any combination of those. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you can add relay output nodes onto the system if you require those. Maybe that's for a beacon sounder or you're dropping a gas solenoid valve or uh, interlocking it with ventilation, something of that nature. You can do that with the relay output nodes or you can use the relays on the panel for that, whichever is the preference. Uh, and you've also got um, the ability to connect up ATEX gas detectors if you need to do that. So if this was a, a restaurant, you've got an LPG tank outside, ATEX in the tank area, and then you can have your normal flammables uh, around the restaurant. Nice and straightforward. Uh, so all of those kind of small applications uh, where you don't particularly want to go to a full-size controller, you don't want to have the whole rigmarole of getting the install team in um, and all of the stuff that goes with that, commissioning people. Here you can do it using 625 Micro. So here we've got a system that's uh, being installed with the plugs and sockets. Uh, so you can see this going together on the wall, plugs and sockets, very, very easy. All pre-configured and even the relay nodes are plug and socketed together here. And here we've got it controlling a beacon sounder. 
Uh, and if you're using our beacon sounders, they come with uh, the legend, as you see it here, saying gas alarm. Uh, so you don't have to worry anymore about you need different colored beacon sounders for different functions like fire alarms or gas detection. Here we just supply you with the label. So if it's flashing and it's got gas detection, gas alarm written underneath it, it's a gas alarm that's going off. Uh, we try and make this as simple as possible. So when you first start your system, or when you first power it, the system will go through a startup routine. So you'll power up, you'll see it'll sequence all the LEDs, tell you what software versions you've got, tell you serial numbers, how many sensors, and then you'll get the setup wizard option. So this is a bit that's quite clever here. You press the button to run the setup wizard. Uh, it'll go off and it'll see how many relay modules it's got connected, how many sensors, then it'll grab the data off the sensors and it'll automatically install those onto the system. Go through its warm-up cycle and you've got an operating gas detection system, all pre-configured, all ready to go. And as you can see, uh, if it goes into alarm, your display will start flashing red. You'll see what alarm level you've breached. Uh, it'll tell you which uh, detector channel has gone into alarm. Uh, if you can reset that afterwards, all you've got to do is press the button and it'll tell you, can I reset it, can I not reset it, and go back to normal operation. So this is very simple, very straightforward. For small applications, absolutely perfect. Okay, so we supply you with obviously uh, manuals with this. It's literally a four page manual because there's not much interaction with the system, not much for you to do. The manual will tell you exactly what's gonna happen when, uh, how to install, uh, what the displays are gonna look like in normal operation and how to respond to them. Try and make this as simple as possible. This is intended for people that aren't gas detection experts. You need a system, you need to put something in. It, it needs to be fast, efficient and it needs to be not confusing at all. It needs to be nice and straightforward. That's what it's intended to do. So how does it set the alarms up? Uh, you'll see in the table that comes with the manual, uh, it'll look something like this. So it'll tell you here exactly, depending on the type of gas detector you've got fitted and connected, uh, once detected, how the system's gonna set that up. So if we take a look at that table here, uh, if it detects, a, say, a flammable gas detector, uh, it'll suck the range of that detector off the uh, what's stored on the actual gas detector itself, so it'll interrogate and decide what it is. Um, it'll set up the action for the alarm, whether it's a rising or falling alarm. Uh, it'll then set up, um, based on what type of detector you've got, if it's flammable, then your first alarm will be 10% LEL, and that will trigger relay 1, and then you'll get 20% LEL will trigger relay 2. Dead straightforward. So it'll do that automatically for you. You don't have to interact at all for that to happen. If you've fitted relay output nodes, um, then you can have a maximum of two of those on the system. And the bottom part of this display tells you what happens there. So there's your first node. Uh, so if you, if you hit your first alarm level, first relay goes off, second alarm level, second relay goes off, and that could be uh, mutable in this case. Um, the same with the relay two. Uh, you'll get first alarm on relay one, and second alarm on relay two. So nice and straightforward. So hopefully that's of interest. Um, this system is designed, as we said, for people who aren't experts in gas detection. It's designed for people who have small applications, they know they've got to fit something, um, and it, they want something that's nice and easy and straightforward. Automatic configures itself, automatic operation, perfect. Thank you very much for listening.